In this video, you're going to see how to wrap the door handle on this SUV using tools and material from our vinyl. The best way to wrap a door handle is off the body, and in most cases, they're easily removed. Simply open the door, take off the cover, loosen the screw or bolt, then release the handle. If needed, disconnect the cable. Now, at a work table, masking tape the base of the handle as a lot of grease builds up there, then clean the handle itself. Our vinyl sells great cleaners, so be sure to use those, and also put extra focus on the edges. So take a tucking tool in a microfiber towel and dig into all the edges and on the underside of the door handle. For a smooth, easy, straightforward install, always be sure to cut the piece ahead of time roughly to shape. Having too much material can make it much harder. Now, release the film from the liner and stretch it side to side at the beginning. This will help make wrapping the door handle much easier. Now, place it on the door handle along the body line that separates the two sides that are being wrapped. Hook one corner and from that corner, stretch again towards the other side. Be sure to stretch along the body line and hook the corner. Once the corner is hooked, go back to the other side to double check that it's stretched evenly. If it looks like there's a lot of wrinkles there, pick it back up and stretch it again along the body line. Because the door handle's off the body, use the fingers that aren't holding the film to hold the door handle in place, then stretch the material evenly towards the corner. And as you can see, by stretching the material before putting on the handle, then stretching from corner to corner, the middle section here simply snaps into place. Once the middle section is done, it's time to revisit the front corner sections. If it looks like there's a little bit too much tension on the edges, pick up the material and restretch it. So here, those wrinkles are shifted towards the wider, flatter section towards the front. And once the wrinkles are even and smooth, it can be sealed flat on the edge. The exact same procedure can be done on this corner as well. It can be picked up, shifted towards the front, and now, once everything's nice and even on all the edges, heat is added, and what this does is activates the adhesive. So it firmly sets up on the edge. This is very important to do before cutting. And also very important before cutting is to tuck the material to the edge, click the blade so it's extra sharp, and now run the tip of the blade right along the body line. It's very important for the free hand to hold the door handle firmly so it doesn't shift. And if done correctly, the tip of the blade will hold the gap cleanly so there's no chance of it jumping out and damaging the door handle. Work from one side towards the other in a nice, even, steady flow. Then, once the cut is made, simply release the excess film by pulling away. Then always come back in with a tucking tool to seal the edge. For the button at the top, simply form the film around, but there's no need to cut it out if the button is flat. Now here from the bottom side, even out the tension so it goes just on to the other side of the door handle then cut away the excess film right at the edge. Only cut when there's no wrinkles. Remove the excess film and then for the underside here, use the back of the tucking tool to tuck it safely into the gap, then cut it in the same manner. Holding firmly with the free hand and then cut from side to side with the tip of the blade in the gap. Once the cut is made, remove the excess film carefully and then seal the deal. The final cut is on the other side of the door handle here is cut flush to the edge and then immediately sealed. And now with everything installed, we now move into post install. And so for post install, several important steps need to be taken. Here, heat is added, and this is to double check that all the edges are down nice and tight and the adhesive is flowing onto the door handle. Here, a final check is made of the button. Again, no need to cut this out. It's a very tricky area to cut out, and if it's flat, it looks good and holds up well. Once everything's checked out and good to go, the door handle can be placed back on the body. So here the covers are set back on, the electrical components are reconnected, the door handle simply just fits back into place very easy and straightforward. And once it's firmly back in place, tighten up the screw or the bolt on the side, put the cover back on, and double check that the door handle works properly. Now wipe the door handle down with an aftercare product from our vinyl, and we're good to go. So now you know how to wrap this door handle on the SUV using tips and tricks that come from the Wrap Institute and great tools and material from our vinyl. And keep in mind there are several other videos on how to wrap this entire SUV, so be sure to check them out. 